have. But it's not okay. It's not the one where the DMV is manned by sloths. That's a different one, right? I don't believe so. I believe that one's Disney Pixar. That's okay. uh, like Zootopia okay. or something. All right. Like well, that. let's don't promote that one because Rob Schneider. Is, uh, <laughs> so don't bring it up. <laughs> well, I was just trying to see if I was remember which movie it is. Nope, Mr. No, Remember. Polar bears. Uh, Rob, hello. Good morning, Rob Schneider, formerly of Saturday Night Live. How much money are you saving on your prep over there for your interviews? <laughs> Good Lord. That's well, the wrong movie. Uh, yeah, but the preview, I, you know, you see previews. I was a little confused. I'm sorry. That's I, okay. Um, you play a pol You're the main polar bear? Okay, your name's Buzz. It's confusing for me, just uh, uh, talking okay. to a guy named Buzz. All right, here we you, go. You sound you know, like an animated guy. We got As a matter of fact, I think that there was an animated character with your name. Uh, yeah. 20 years ago. I never hear that one. <laughs> Just like you Buzz never. Buzz Lightyear? Like you never hear making copies. I never hear, hey, Buzz Lightyear. How about uh, Buzz Aldrin when he has to go through? Uh, <laughs> Rob, we're not getting off on the wrong foot, are we? I hope not. No, we're good, though, buddy. Uh, it's okay. All right. Tell me about Norm of the North. 30 in the morning. Uh, I play a polar bear um, who's uh, tired of people coming up and disturbing him in his home up in the Arctic. So he goes down to New York to see if he can get these people to stop coming up there. It's it's pretty fun to do, you know. I've been working on it for five years. I think my voice wow. has lowered about three octaves since we started making this movie. <laughs> but it's fun. You get involved in it, and some great people like Ken Jeong and Heather Graham and Gabriel Iglesias, and you know, you just uh, you really respect that uh, these people have been working on it this long. I mean, five years. I mean, my yeah. goodness, my kid wasn't even born when this thing started. So and now she's three. So it's uh, it's nice, you know. There's so many movies out there that um, they are just for adults, and this one's for that you can go and see see with your kid and have a good time with them. So, what five years just for just for doing the the, the voice acting, or uh... oh no 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 five years since I've been involved in the project. I mean that's how long it takes. I mean they got me involved in the very beginning and just to work on the the voice, and then just kind of they videotape you and just to make sure it kind of looks your mouth kind of forms the same words and they right. they um so it, you become that character but it takes years to do the animation so the first thing it looks kind of like a you know a crayon drawing you know the first thing they, they call it an anime anime and then they then they do the first sketches of it it doesn't it's just like pencil drawings and then they uh, and then it takes years to fill in because it's like literally you see the hair blowing on top of the guy's face he's a polar bear it's like you know, it's a bunch of guys sitting around for months doing this stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you're out by that time, by the time they're doing all this stuff. No, but I, mean, I kept coming back in. I mean, I was working on it even until, you know, a month ago. They were still doing some okay. changes and stuff. So, now, I did mean, you have all the little, where they put, I don't know what they're called, the little balls on you so they can track your mo movement? Stephanie wants to know if you had balls on your face <laughs> at all. To, you know what I'm uh, talking about, uh, right? The motion I don't know. capture. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Never too early for that question. No, no, they, no, they actually just videotape you and just kind of work that. We didn't do the, um, you know, running and stuff like that. I mean, they had, um, but they, but they, they, you know, they literally go out and film a real animal, and they'll look at that and make sure that that it's in the same ballpark. And you know, I really, it's like I can't, draw, I can't draw anything. So I can't imagine people making a living at drawing, you know. And so um, it was, it was. Uh, for me, it was, it was something, I was very happy that they had me involved with this. And, you know, while I was in the middle of this thing, I had a kid, which is a nice surprise. So and now she's three years old, and I think she'll actually get to enjoy it. And, have you taken her out to a movie, like, uh, in a theater uh, to watch, like, the whole thing? Because three seems to be, that's kind of like an age where it could go either way. The, the kid attention span's still right. a little short, but if it's she, your daddy's voice. Uh, I've shown her some of my other movies, and she's walked out of it. So mm -hmm. it's like, I think this one, I think she'll be able to sit through. Hey, daddy's in this. She goes, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I think it's at least it's, you know, it's a cartoon. It's a polar bear. It's got a, she got a chance of making it through, uh, uh, through this movie. What always, uh, got me was when I found out when they do these animated things, you know, there've been so many great animated movies that the actors are not in the same room with each other, which seems like it'd be really difficult to do. Well, it's kind of like, you know, it always kind of, to me, I'm still amazed by that stuff. You know, it's like when you, you hear like um, Frank Sinatra did all these duets, and they were never in the same room. And I'm, well, what's the fun of that? You know, uh, that's why it was kind of cool that you know a guy like um, you know um, Tony Bennett is in the same room with them, and they are performing together. And 
So, but it was, they actually put us in the same room. Oh, they so did. I got to see, you know, beautiful Heather Graham, and that's a good forty. By what the a way. knockout! Oh man, that's, I saw a picture of her that's recently. Not your, mm, that's not good. your dad's forty. No, that's a good forty. Right. You know, but uh, I was in college when my mom was forty, and my mom looked nothing at all like Heather Graham does at forty. I'll tell you that. <laughs> exactly. Something else was going on. I mean, yoga, good food, organic food, whatever's happening. That's what I want to make sure and do. So you guys uh, but, were you around a table or just like in a studio? No, no, no we're in the booth together, just talking to each other, which okay. was great. We did that together in New York. We did, we you know, we did vocal stuff here in California. You know, Ken Jeong, who's a you know crazy lunatic. Yeah, we had Ken on a couple weeks ago. He's got his own TV series right. now. That's what we were. He's an amazing guy, and uh, so he was terrific. Gabriel Iglesias. So we had some great people on this. Hey, uh, so you, you, Rob uh, intimated that he, he doesn't think I prep for my interviews, th- and I'll prove that's not yeah, true. Yeah, I don't think you do. I go to the Wikipedia page of whoever <laughs> I'm about to interview, and I look on Wikipedia and see what's going on. And it uh, says that, and I'm going to give you a chance, are you an anti-vaxxer? Because that seems to be what your Wikipedia page indicates. Well, I mean, you can't believe everything on the Wikipedia. You know? <laughs> no, I want to know if it's true or not. Though. Well, I, I want to know if everything true is true about Buzz out there and what yeah. I read about. Guess Buzz, what? You know, this Matt, is so. Rob. Listen, this is a thing that I kind of judge somebody like on how big their Wikipedia page is. So Rob Schneider's got a Wikipedia page, but it's not anywhere near what Elvis's Wikipedia page is. Uh-huh. And, and Elvis is nowhere near what Jesus is on Wikipedia. <laughs> That's cool, Buzz. I don't even have a Wikipedia. It drives me crazy that I, somebody could give It'll me happen. three sentences. Just keep hanging in there, Buzz. You yeah. have to have a goal. Now you have one. So why does it? What's <laughs> it's all going to come true for you, pal? I appreciate Rob it. Rob Schneider, who plays Norm of the North, are you or are you not an anti-vaxer? Rob, if I ask a different question, will you talk again? Did we lose him? I don't know. I don't know why we would have. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Whoop. I think we lost him. I don't think he was too happy. Well, well that was two just days awkward. in a row. <laughs> wow. You had someone hang up no, on you yesterday. I don't too. feel yeah. like that was a line of questioning but, that would that lead to being hung a up true on. True or false. Right. True or false. No Are you an anti no judgment. Hey, you want to try to give him a call back and see if we got uh, I don't have the number. Oh, crud. All right. <laughs> they called us. We didn't call them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he was there. He was there for a while while you were he asking that. And right. He hung up. Right. I didn't think I was asking we a thing. We still had six like, minutes. Right. You they owe six us minutes. Oh my goodness. six minutes then. Well, Bob uh, was already like, come on, man. You know. Well, because you know. of yesterday, go yeah. over with Sent, the Bigfoot people. Okay. And- what well, did you tell the Bigfoot people yesterday, Buzz? <sighs> he, that they're full of crap. Okay, so the Bigfoot people, I, I can see why they... It's on our website, right? Brandon's yeah. convinced I should play that interview back because it was, it was so good. hairy. I, dude, I had to turn I my... Listened I listened to it again last I night. I kept it was so laughing. I, like, I think there was at one point I had to turn my microphone off because you heard me snort in the background <laughs> because of something Buzz said to them. But okay. I don't think that... What was the final straw? I thought this one was, there was no reason to hang up. You asked a question. If he didn't want to answer it, he could have said, I would prefer not to talk about it. And then I would be like, oh, let's talk about your daughter's Grammy nomination. Buzz. Or something. What was not the, the three-year-old. Dude, his, na- his daughter's three. She doesn't no, not have a- that daughter. Oh, no. yeah. L. King is his daughter. She has that. Oh, like oh X's X's and O's. And O's. That's his daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. b- 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 <laughs> he was already grumpy. So. Such a I know. Yeah, because we I thought that his movie might have been the one where the sloths are working at the uh, DMV. Now, that movie looks good. <laughs> 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 that looks like a funny cartoon. Aww. 